Adventures. I'm Jason. Thanks for joining us. Today I want to show you how to create yourself the iconic drink known as the Green Mint Old Fashioned. Beautiful drink, ideal for sipping this St. Patrick's Day. Stay tuned. They're whipping up delicious dishes. It must be the Chef Adventures! Chef Adventures! Welcome back. Before we begin creating this iconic drink, I want to tell you a little bit of the history of the Green Mint Old Fashioned. Um, iconic bartender, king of cocktails himself, Bill DeGroff, designed this drink to be paired specifically with a lamb dinner that is served at the Keen's restaurant in New York City. New York City's Wine and Food Society asked Dill if he could create a drink to be paired with the, their lamb dinner. He went to the restaurant, tasted their lamb dinner for inspiration, found inspiration through their in homemade mint jelly. The mint jelly was the inspiration behind the green mint old fashioned. Let's get started. Number one, mint. Fresh mint. Freshest is the bestest. Quarter of an orange. Cut out a quarter of an orange. Bitters. Mint bitters. A high grade, high quality mint jelly. Water. Mint simple syrup. And uh, Irish whiskey. These are all the ingredients that you're going to need to create the green mint um, old fashioned. I also have a list of all these ingredients down in the description box below in case you need a reminder. There you have it. This is what it takes to create this iconic drink. All right, now it's time to get into the tools for to create the green mint old fashioned. Number one, you're going to need a spoon. Simple. You're going to need a tool called a muddler. A muddler we're gonna to use to crush some of those raw ingredients to release the aromatics and create that fantastic freshness. You're gonna need a muddler. Two ounce measure, a couple of drinking glasses, and a cocktail shaker. These are all the tools necessary to create this drink. All these tools are also listed in the description box below in case you need a reminder. We are getting so close to creating this drink, I'm getting very excited. <laughs> well, I can't get ahead of myself. I have to give a shout out to my friends here at these YouTube channels. This is a YouTube hashtag collaboration, hashtag drink tips. Click on the hashtag drink tips below and check out the incredible content for green drinks for this St. Patrick's Day. You can also find a link to their channels in my description box down below. Click on their links, check out the incredible content. So with that being said, without any further delay, let's make up a drink. Take your shaker, cocktail shaker, you're gonna put in your raw ingredients. Quarter orange, fresh mint, teaspoon, mint jelly, dash of bitters, just a little, mint bitters, just a dash, half ounce, mint syrup, splash of water, get our muddler, and we're going to pulverize it, get in there, and really work it. You want to create a paste with all your raw ingredients. It smells amazing. So basically what you're doing when you're muddling these raw ingredients together is you're releasing all the aromatics out of the... Um, um, the mint and or the orange and the freshness um, with the bitters and the simple syrups and the jellies are really coming together nicely and it's going to really do great things for the, uh, the whiskey that we're going to add next. And I think this is about done. Looks nice. It smells like heaven. Wow. That looks pretty good. Our next step now is to add ice. I have some ice right here. We're going to add ice. And we're going to add two ounces of Irish whiskey is our next step. So let's load this up. There's two ounces right there. In the drink it goes. Now, this drink is not to be shaken fast. It's to be turned slow. You turn the whiskey in slowly. The ice moves around. You get it in. You just slightly turn it and roll it. Turn and roll, turn and roll. Those are, aromatics are becoming infused into the whiskey and it's beautiful. Here's our glass with ice. Here's where the rubber hits the road. Let's see it. Ooh, that beautiful drink. Wow. 
And to top it off, you garnish it with fresh mint. And there you have it, folks. That is the green mint old fashioned. Serve this at your next St. Patrick's Day party. Another shout out to all of my YouTube friends out there and to click the hashtag drink tips below to check out their incredible things for your parties as well. And their channel links are also in my description below. Check them out, check out the channels. Ooh, this is nice. All right, let's pour it. Wow. I cannot describe the smell. It's like the freshest smell. It's gorgeous. Last thing, last but not least, garnish with the fresh mint. Um, the green mint, old fashioned, beautiful drink. Make these for your party this year. It will be a hit. Everyone will be talking about it. You cannot get enough of this. The freshness, the whiskey, it screams St. Patrick's Day. And to all of our viewers out there, thank you so much for watching. Subscribers, thank you for subscribing. If anybody knows anybody that may be interested in the content that I'm sharing with you today, invite them to subscribe and to watch. If you have comments, leave them down below. If you have questions, we have answers. We're here to help. Leave your questions and comments below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Man. I have two beautiful drinks, and I just don't know who to call to drink them with. Man, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Boy, oh boy, if there was someone I knew, someone I could call and just have come over and enjoy these drinks with me. Hmm. Oh, who's there? Come in. Hot Chef. Hello, Chef Jason. Hi, Hot Chef. What are you doing in town? I just heard you were making these delicious green mint old-fashioned then I'm yes. going to try them. Well, you came to the right place. I am making green mint old-fashioned. I would love to share it with you. Awesome. I'm ready. All right. Let's have one. Yes, thank you. Cheers, Hasha. Cheers. Wow. Mm, good. Very refreshing. This is very refreshing. Very delicious. So minty. It's very minty and very smooth. Very good. It's hard whiskey in here. So good. It's so smooth. It's 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 awesome. Yeah. Cheers. From all of us from the Chef Adventures team to you, happy St. Patrick's Day. Be safe, drink responsibly, don't drink and drive. If you're 21, you cut off. That's right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Chef Adventures, want to take a minute, Chet and I would like to thank our subscribers. Thank you for watching, thanks for giving thumbs up. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks again, peace. Uns, 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 u